Well, it's Monday, just about ready for low tide. And a spin at the land of Nada. But it's raining damn brickbats. I don't guess I'm going to make it. And on and off all morning, just lightly, but now it's really picked up hard. Not good. For detecting, I mean. When I'm not eating pork chops and steak and fish, I eat apples. I'm getting ready to bake some now. This is nasty outside. This is a core that I use. It's a little... I actually sharpened it because it was very dull. It wouldn't go through the apples very well, so I sharpened the end of it. You just push it through, push it the core out, you pull it out and push the core back through the end of that little tube. Once they're all cored, I just pick them up and carry them over here to this little baking doodad pan we have. And I put them in here. I usually just put them in the oven on the pan as it, as you see them without the, when I put tinfoil on it. But they started to splatter a little teeny bit and my leader got mad because I was messing up the oven. So now I put them in the same pan but I put tinfoil over top of them like that. 4.30. It's been rain free for, I don't know, three hours I guess. But you can see that big puddle and I showed it to you this morning. It has been coming down. I don't know about any reports. I haven't talked to anybody. I've been working on them knives I picked up. I picked up four kitchen knives from a lady. Stand by. There's the four household knives I picked up. A little chef's knife, a Santuco, another Santuco, and like a bone. I polished them up, cleaned them up, polished them up, and sharpened them up. And then these, these two go to a pizza restaurant. A three-week exchange. He goes to a Mexican restaurant. Two-week two exchange. You remember about a month or so ago when uh, da uh, Dan was here? I bought this dive knife at a estate sale. Well, Les from New Jersey is coming down to go spinning with us for a few days. He wants to buy it, so I sharpened it up. And in the sink, I have two pizza rockers. The things they cut pizzas with on a table, you know, pizza place where those, where these knives are going. They have two knives and two pizza rockers. That's all they use every three weeks. And it's not a bad deal. Okay. Oh, yeah, I got one more. Hey, boo-boo, what are you doing? What are you doing, boo-boo? You want some scratches, do you? You got a big old fur old kitty cat. You want some scratches? You like scratches. And that's as far as it goes, Mr. Tuffy. I don't want nothing else. Just some scratches on the head. My apples are done. Nice and soft. These are like my evening snack. Instead of dessert, I eat apples. Baked. Wonderful. Honey and crisp. Well, it's Tuesday about uh, 10... Nine minutes after 10. I'm out dropping off knives and picking up knives. And the tide is low at 12.32, I think. So I'm going to try to go back in a few minutes. I'm not far from my last pickup. I mean drop off. And get the mumbles man. He said he's ready. And we're going to go to either the bay or the land of Nada. We wanted to go to the bay, but I'm afraid we got... I shade too much wind to work there. It's uh, supposed to be 12 to 17, and that's uh, that's iffy if it's if it got any 17 in it. But anyway, we'll see how that goes because we still got 45 minutes or so before I'll get back to the house. I'll get back to you. Stand by. Well, it's 10:25. I'm headed home. I should make it about 10, about 15 minutes. I'll be home. They claim it's going to be 80 today. 80 today. Rain expected heavy in the afternoon. 
60s in the ship 60s temperatures for tomorrow and 50s high 50s for Wednesday no Thursday I got another detecting buddy coming into town tomorrow from uh, New Jersey Les Les Robinson I, maybe some of y'all know him but anyway he'll be here uh, in the afternoon tomorrow driving down from South New Jersey He's going to be here for a week, I think he said. Maybe longer. Another looter in the land of Nada. I hope it improves for us. Because well, it's been a desolate spot. But that could change today. With the tide. Okay, I'll see you in a few minutes. So this is one of the knives I picked up. The other one... Look like Wustos. Oh yeah, there are Wustos. Stand by. Santuco. One of them's like a mid, maybe size chef's knife and a big serrated knife. Bread knife. The serrated knife is really sharp. The knife is sharp and I'm just going to hone it up a little bit. It don't need anything. Okay, I headed to the Mumbles Man's in a few minutes. No meters today anymore. This uh, little uh, little uh, park they got here at the end. A lot of surfers out here today. It's a nice day. 80. Tides low in 45 minutes. In an hour and 45 minutes on the bay. Stand by.
hot, Goose, we're going home. I mean, not home, but to the oak tree on the bay. Change our minds. We're going to the pier, pier area, just east of it a ways. Clouds are moving in fast. We got about an hour before low tide here. Maybe 45, 50 minutes. You can see the clouds right there, see them? They look terrible right over there. Stand by. We're about to go in. The pier is just to the left of us. Nice baby waves. I like it. Oh, that's coming from. Well, I never did get that other target. I gave up on it. I got a knockout 30 here. 28 to 30. I guess it's still in the hole. That's not, not, not no 30 anymore though. Jump down lower, 14. We got it though, it's a quarter. Bad quarter. Says there's another one. About two foot away. Not as elusive as the other one. Oh, is it? Stand by. I'll find it in a little while. Gave up on that 39. When I got down about 10 scoops, it got to be big iron. Now I got a nice solid 16. And I got it. Bottle cap. Ha! Corona. But the pier is about 90% gone. There's only about a 50 foot, 60 foot section of it left. Westminster Canterbury bought it. I guess they're taking it all up and I don't know what they're going to do with it. If they're going to put another pier back in for the residents to walk on or just bought the property and doing away with the pier. I guess that's something we'll find out in the future. I think we're going to make a move to the Golden Hole with this pretty weather. There's not many waves and the tide's kind of low. I think that's where we should have gone to Oak Tree. That's where we're headed. Hold it. Got a 19. See, it's very jumpy. Might be another ball cap. Stand by. Well, we left that hot goose. We're going here to the gold hole, the hooker hole. I figured we only got today. It's going to be cold and windy and raining tomorrow. Colder on Wednesday, I mean Thursday. 
this may be our only opportunity for a whole week or so since the waves aren't bad and you can go out fairly deep stand by we'll break the hill here in a minute we got clouds sunny over that way I like downhill I don't mind uphill too bad at 185 I mean 86 but at 269 I didn't like uphill at all look at that no waves beautiful it had a little cut up to here you see you kind of you got to drop right off here as we slide in okay stand by the water yet got a solid 17 I think that's probably gray matter it's a little bit bigger than I now it's big We have found it. Oh, top of a can. That's why I was big. Top of a can. That was just my first finest target of the other day. Look at that nice thing. Isn't that cute? feet right on down to the hole. I'm not even going to hang around here in the water. I'm going straight to the cake to the hole at a rapid pace. Damn. 28. Solid. A Chinaman down there. Ah. Now it's jumping all up like 32. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Something big there now. I hit it. See it now. Maybe not, but it's old, I can tell you that. Got some right there inside, but I can't quite make it out. Right, we got gold taquito right here on the wash. I haven't got in the water yet. Three ounces of gray matter right next to it. That's a good sign. I like it. 1819.
don't think I like it. I think it's big. I'm kind of stuck on it right now. Yeah, big. We ain't going no further with that, baby. Six now. Wherever it was, it broke loose. I think the best of it's right in there. carry this piece with us. Now we're at the hole. Nah, it's all broke up now. Yeah, I had three like that broke up. Okay. There was a strong 17 or 19. 19? Now all it's doing is tick, 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 tick. I got one gray matter. I got one little a ball. Oh, okay. That's all I got. I mean, hey, tinker, tinker, or anything like that. Twenty-seven, but it's a little choppy. silver quarter but you can see that it's not now knockout 23 really loud I see it's some kind of big blingy thing a rod probably something off a Hobie cat okay That's the second piece of that I got. First piece is big. Same as steel fishing wire. You can see from my marks, I've been working in and out. Everything's been behind me or right along in here. I ain't found anything out here so far. It was a big old sail, not a big old sailboat, but a sailboat anchored right out there. That's, you don't see many anchored here. And only 
what only that one piece of gray matter. That's not a good sign. I thought we'd find some gray matter here. A lot of iron here. Stand by. Got a six. A rather scratchy six out of the ground. See nothing. Must be teeny. Yeah, it fell back in the damn hole as I was shaking it. We got it out now. I bet this is a fine little ticket piece of junk. Second one of these I've dug. Man, I ain't been looking around. Look at that. Look at that mumbles man. I think we better get the truck out of here. Whew, baby. They said heavy rain this afternoon. I think they might be right. Stand by. Got a six and an eight here. Solid six or eight. It moves around. Now it's right down to a four. As we got it, some kind of big, big junky thing. Junkie too with a big J. We're headed back, if you didn't know that. I hope we make it. A lot of big rocks around today. All through the beach. You see them? All up and down there. Granny rocks. I like, I like them. I like seeing them. Look at them. Oop. A two. Jumpy though. But I got to investigate it. It's really, really irony sounding now. Just wasting our time. It's all all minus now. See the rocks? Man, I like it. Iron. That is. It's 
big, I can tell you that. <laughs> All right, let me get back to you. Made it up the hill. Starting to sprinkle right now. Pretty little house, ain't it? Just in the nick of time, we just got in the truck and shut the door. Gully washer. That's what they said it was going to be, too, this afternoon. Okay. Getting ready for the roundup, stand by. Dinner first. Down, I need it to put my stuff to market. Carniscus. Pieces of pork. Salad. I forgot what that is. Texas burrito. Texas burrito. These are fish chicken tacos. It's taco night tonight. Two, two tacos for five bucks. It's two beef tacos, and his wife has chicken tacos. I didn't get a taco. It was an okay day, considering we went to a lot of places. We didn't find much any place. Sheer blind luck. It's this old ticket right here, 10 carat. I'm sure we'd like to know what kind of stone was in it. I bet it was cool. Okay. See you tomorrow. Here's the Mumbles man's nut. I got uh, Thomas's nut too. He was uh, he was at the land of Nada, but he was uh, 20 blocks south of us. He did okay. He didn't find any gold tickets, but he found a lot of change. So there's a lot of difference in 20 blocks from where we were. Stand by, I'll go get it on here if I can stand by a second or two. Nut. Look at them quarters. I think he's got 14 quarters and I don't know how many dimes he said he found. But it was much better north than it was south where we were when we first went there, you know. I got ready to stop at 26th Street. He said Gigmaster was there with him, but he didn't find much. But this guy, Thomas, he was on a hot goose. He went like six blocks back and forth. I like it.